These are the 13 easiest magic tricks in the world according to Google and today we're gonna be testing them out I'm doing this outside because if I did this in my studio something could catch on fire But you'll see later in the video if you want to do this yourself Just look up care.com in your browser and it will bring you automatically to the page It says these simple magic tricks can be a ton of fun and are a great way for parenting and caregivers to keep the family entertained after all who doesn't love a bit of magic and the life and honestly I don't know what to say of that but anyways we're gonna start off with the first one and it is the rubber pencil magic trick it also gives you the ages you should be doing this from by the way if you want to try this out with me at the same time all you need is one pencil rubber pencil magic tricks ages five and up this easy magic trick is a classic that even the youngest magicians can perform by holding an irregular pencil down by the eraser and shaking it at just the right speed it appears to become made of bendable rubber instead of wood this one doesn't take any special care just a lot of practice to get the speeding technique just right there is a video tutorial to this but that's i'm really not interested in the video tutorial because we all know how to do this you just hold the um, the pencil at the end don't don't hold it too firm just hold it a bit you know loose and just shake it at a certain speed and it will look like the the pencil is made of rubber now hopefully in the video you can see it because in real life it actually does anyway that's the first one let's move on to the second one spoon bending illusion ages five and up all you need for this is a spoon and it says if you're looking for easy beginner optical illusions a spoon bending illusion is a great one the trick is all in the way you hold the spoon you press that on the spoon while sliding your hand along the handle which gives you the illusion of the utensil bending it takes some practice but this one is one of the easiest magic tricks for kids to master and honestly it's true all you need to do is grab your um, what do you call it your spoon and you just grab it and it will almost seem like it starts to bend but then of course whenever you want it can just turn back to normal now we're gonna move on to the third one disappearing coin magic trick ages five and up a basic disappearing coin trick is a great starter to help kids develop the fine motor skills discipline and confidence needed to perform magic the trick is to perfect the sleight of hand so that when the coin is left with the magician's hand, the audience doesn't notice it. Now, there is a video to this and there's different ways to vanish a coin. So we're just going to see the way they do it. Let's go. Uh, this is how to basically just make a coin, right? You know, even disappear. You don't even need to look at the explanation for this trick because the way the magician does it, you can kind of see how he does it. I'm not saying the magician isn't good, it's just not performed very well. Now what you want to do is you grab the coin, you throw it in your hand and you put the sleeve up. You want to do this with the other hand as well and you want to put this sleeve up and then you snap your fingers and the coin is magically gone. Now we're going to move on to the fourth trick. Trick number four is called Betcha Can Crack an Egg Trick and it's from ages seven and up. In this trick, kids can tell friends that they're going to squeeze an egg as hard as they possibly can without breaking it. What the child magician will know is that an egg is something of a miracle of nature and is actually pretty tough when squeezed in the hand. Its shape allows to withstand a great deal of pressure when it's evenly applied. They can squeeze the egg in the palm of their hand or in between both hands. So pretty much it says that if you put the egg like this with the two ends and you squeeze, the egg will not break. And I'm hoping it won't because otherwise I'm going to have to clean all of this up. So let's go. Hopefully, nothing will happen. I'm gonna squeeze it as hard as I possibly can. And it's actually not breaking. So yeah, that definitely worked. Let's move on to trick number five. Trick number five is the magnetic pencil magic trick, ages seven and up. Kids can fool their friends easily with this old school magic trick. The only things required for this illusion is a pencil. A pen will do as well. And the child's hands having something on their wrist which holds the pencil, such as a watch or a bracelet, can help as a distraction, but it's not required. And of course, since it's not required, I didn't bring one. But anyways, let's go. There's video tutorials for all of these, but I'm not watching them because they're pretty straightforward tricks. You probably already know them. And this thing went viral on TikTok in like 2018, 2019 with the phone. You will probably understand when I show you the trick. For example, you grab the pencil and you challenge your friends that you can, you will not drop the pencil once your hand is open. Three, two, one, and the pencil doesn't drop, which is crazy. And it's crazy because you can just move it and the pencil doesn't drop. And then you can even get the pencil and show everybody that it's a completely normal pencil. Trick number six is pluck a coin from thin air. We are gonna watch the video tutorial for this because again, you can make a coin appear from thin air in any way, shape or form. So let's just see how this guy does it. You need to show your hands completely empty. And then as strange as this may sound, you're gonna need to do a drum roll. Come on, a drum roll. And number three, you need to focus on a point in the air. 
right about there and wish, wish really hard and then you can grab a coin out of the air. Before filming, I did watch all the videos just to see what I needed to bring to shoot the video. But pretty much, he just shows that there is his empty ants and he shows how there is one place, a specific place, like right here, that a coin can magically appear from. And that was the trick. Pretty straightforward, let's move on to the next one. This trick is for ages seven and up and it's called the walkthrough paper. Anyways, with this exciting magic trick, ask if the audience thinks you can cut a hole in a standard piece of paper that's big enough to walk through. When they say no, the magicians prove them wrong. Let's watch the video and find out how this person does it. Boys and girls, today I am going to teach you a great trick which you can play on all your friends and family. To begin, you need to bet them that you can cut a hole in the piece of paper which is large enough to step through. Fold the piece of paper in half and then using a pair of scissors cut a series of strips but be careful not to go right to the end of the paper. Once you finish cutting the strips turn the piece of paper over and then start cutting in the opposite direction. Leaving the strips at the end, the last cuts that you need to make are through the crease. Okay, so you cut like that as many as you want, then you cut the opposite way. I'm very confused, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very confused. But she thinks and she says it's gonna work so why not who's never wanted to walk through paper i honestly never have so i don't know i honestly don't know whoever thought of this but anyway let's see what's gonna happen i don't know how you can physically walk through a piece of paper but i don't know i actually don't know but let's see what she is on to All that's left to do is to pick up the piece of paper and ta-da! It's big enough to step through. So cut through the creases. Don't know, I actually, I'm start. I, I was kind of hoping this was gonna work, but I'm starting to lose all of my hope. So we cut through these, cut through this. I don't get this, I actually don't get this. Like, I'm destroying a piece of paper to walk through it. Like, it destroyed the whole concept of magic. But anyway, let's see. Then she says to grab the first two. And ta-da. Oh, oh, oh. And what about the other ones? I'm assuming that then you actually can walk through the piece of paper which is crazy trick number eight is the cup through the table trick ages seven and up kids can amaze friends and family with this impressive illusion all they need is a cup a piece of paper big enough to cover the cup a small object a ball or a coin of work and a table and that is exactly what we have today i have the cup i have the ball and i have the piece of paper i am using an a4 piece of paper if you want to use it as reference again i'm not going to watch the tutorial but if you want to watch all the tutorials they will all be down below in case you want to try them yourself and here we go. I'm gonna try and make this little red ball go through the table. Just like so, I'm gonna bang on it and it's gonna go underneath the table. We'll cover it with a cup and with this A4 sheet of paper, we will just cover the cup and the ball. He's ready? Cause we will make all of this disappear in three, two, one. Oh, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Cause the ball didn't go through, but the cup did. And that's not what we want. But Let's just move on to the next trick. Trick number nine is the levitating card, ages seven and up. This is an impressive yet easy card trick for beginners. It involves creating a special trick card using plastic and super glue. Right here we have the building math, so let's get on with it. So this took you about 20 seconds to make and the tutorial on how to do this is in the description. I'm going to show you up close so then you can see it better. But the card will start to levitate like so. And it will go back down whenever you want it to. And that right there is what I just built. Let's move on to trick number 10. 
Trick number 10 is make an egg fit through an impossibly small hole, ages 10 and up. This activity is technically a science experiment, but it looks like a magic trick. It requires a cooled, peeled, hard-boiled egg, a glass bottle with a hole a bit smaller than the egg, a piece of paper and a mattress or lighter. Make sure an adult is there to assist in lighting the paper. Again, make sure in case you're younger than 15 or 14 or 10 or whatever you want, ages 10 and up. So if you're 10 or younger, definitely have an adult. So there is a video on how to do it. So we'll just watch it. Pretty much all I have is a lighter, newspaper, a cooled hard boiled egg and um, a glass, a glass vase. Uh, with a hole on top of it that's smaller than the egg. So yeah, let's start watching the video. By the way, this is where the fire comes in. I'll light the paper on fire, let it catch, drop it in, put the egg on top, it's vibrating. Air is pushing the egg down. Oh, wow. Okay, so I don't see why some of these tricks are considered magic tricks, but again, let's try it out. And again, I also got water, by the way. Super value is not sponsoring me. But anyways, what you do is you get rid of the boiled egg first. And he puts his finger inside of the water bottle and just wets it. So then he goes around the perimeter of this and pretty much just wets the part where the egg is going to be to kind of lubricate it. So let's see. I, I, this is not a magic trick, but it's actually really fun for some reason. So I'm still doing it. So we grab the newspaper. Hopefully it's not too much. And we kind of make it smaller though, because this isn't the biggest of glass vases. So let's go. Get rid of the egg for a minute. We place this and we burn the... There's too much air. I do this in my studio and this falls or something like this fall one it's going to stink second of all something might catch on fire you never know and the fire alarm is gonna go on so yeah okay we're moving to my studio let's see this is not what should have happened i'm not very happy listen i don't know what i'm doing for this video but yes anyways i'm not in my studio but i'm just outside on the little garden that on the little like deck that i have for my studio so then um there is at least the door covering the wind and it should work. Let's go ahead and see. Light this on fire. It should catch. Come on. Okay, so it caught on fire. Nope. And before you all start going, oh, you could have put it in. No, I couldn't have. We're going to go now. Oh no, oh no. That's exactly why I didn't want to do it in the office. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try with this little amount. Since I feel like little amount will burn. And let's see. Oh my God. Oh my God. No way. It's slowly going in. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, keep watching it. I can literally see it. There it is, there it is, there it is. It's slowly squishing in. I actually didn't think this here was going to work. Let's see, let's see, come on, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Oh my God, it didn't go fully in. Well, that failed. So that one clearly didn't work. So let's move on to trick number 11. Trick number 11 is called make yourself levitate. Now this is some real magic. It's for ages 10 and up and let's see. Okay, so it just says, see the video for details and for four different ways to do this trick. So yeah, since the last one didn't work, let's do all four. Okay, so let's look at some ways we can do this. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Oh my God. Let's do it. I swear if this video doesn't go viral. Oh, 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 That's how you do it. Let's watch the next one. 
Makes it look like you're floating in midair. Check it out. I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm not doing it. Let's watch the next one. As you can see, the puddle creates the illusion that you're floating. Okay, I could just do this here, but there is a road right next to me. So we're going on the road. I swear if I get wrong, I'm go for this. This right here behind me is one of the busiest roads there is. And when people come, they come at full speed. So if a car comes when I do this, I'm done. I'm quitting YouTube. Trick number 12 is the magnet hand trick. It's for ages 10 and up, and let's see the description. With this trick, children will fool their audience into thinking that a regular group of playing cards are magically sticking to their hand. They will need to make their own trick card for this one, but it's easily done with some scissors and glue. Again, if you want to see the tutorial and you want to make this at home, the link will be in the description down below. So let's start building. Okay, so the trick is done. It took me about maybe a minute, a minute and a half, just because you need to cut out and tape things. But again, the tutorial is down below. I'm gonna have to stand up to show you this trick. So let's get to it. If you get the right angle, they will levitate. Okay, you're, yes, my thumb is underneath it, okay. But then if you actually leave your thumb and you see it, the cards are just magically floating. And whenever you want, they can just drop and you can check all of the cards just like so but now it's time for the most interesting part of the video trick number 13 the last one let's get to it it's time for trick number 13 again not a magic trick but it's on there and to be fair i've always wanted to try this and it's called instantly turn water into ice ages 10 and up this awesome water trick is part magic part science experiment all you need is a bottle of water purified water seems to work best a freezer and something cold to pour the water on a flat ice pack is ideal. After the bottle of water is left in the freezer for two and a half hours, take it out and watch the magic happen. Once you have it working, try experimenting with food coloring in your water to make it even more visual exciting. And you can also try it with your favorite drink. So I got one of my favorite drinks, Club Orange. But again, I tried with water. This is water from the tap. This is just bottled water, never opened. And this is just a soda. So let's try this out. Hopefully this works. Let's go ahead and see. Pour the water all on the ice pack. Okay, no, that was supposed to turn into... Okay. Well, that didn't work. Let's try with bottled water. Maybe this will work. Okay, no, what? I don't get why ice is not coming, but sure. Let's, let's, try, let's try with the... Um, with this, hopefully this works. We'll do this not on the table because if this stains the table, the table is gone. So we'll try it here. Okay, so it's not sticking, which is not ideal to end the video. Well, unfortunately the last trick didn't work, but I did leave you with a lot of magic tricks. Before this, remember to subscribe and comment down below the name of any of these magic tricks, the magic tricks with the most comments I will personally add in my professional magic show. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out.